gardeners love visiting plant nurseries, but they're not the only place you can find new things to plant in your garden. You can grow plants from many of the fruits and vegetables you're already bringing home from the grocery. Many vegetables will regrow themselves if you place them in just a little bit of water and sit them in a sunny place, like on your windowsill. An easy one to try this with is green onions. The next time you cut up some green onions, don't throw those ends away. Instead, try placing them in a small bowl of water. Before you know it, your green onion will have regrown itself and you'll have a plant that you can continue to reharvest again and again. You can do the exact same technique with leeks and with bok choy. But here's something really fun. It also works with celery and lettuce. Before you peel any of your stalks of celery, simply cut the end and do the same thing with your lettuce. Now that we've got the ends, we'll simply place each in their own bowl of water and watch what happens. Some plants do great if you put them directly into a pot or container. Pineapples are like that. If you'd like to try to grow a pineapple, cut the top portion off and place it in a pot of soil, just like I have here. Pineapples grow great, both indoors and outdoors. And even if you don't get a pineapple, you'll always have a beautiful green plant. So now that you know the basics, we can get a little bit more exotic. I love eating creamy mangoes, and inside of every mango is a husk that holds the seed. You're going to want to clean off your husk, take a pair of scissors, and snip it open. The seed is about the size of a large lima bean, and this is what we're going to plant. Keep your seed on its side, nestle it into the dirt, and cover it with about an inch of soil. You want to keep it watered and moist. In a few weeks, you should start seeing some beautiful bronze leaves as your baby mango plant begins to grow. Papaya is another fruit that's filled with seeds that are ready to grow. Simply scoop out some seeds and gently massage them into some soil. Keep your pot watered and moist. Papayas love the hot desert climate of the Southwest. and You'll have baby papayas growing in no time at all. Not everything has a seed like a fruit. The next time you have a batch of potatoes that are growing eyes and you think they've gone bad, don't throw them away. Cut them into two inch pieces and plant them in your garden. And don't forget garlic cloves. You can take your cloves and plant them directly into the dirt, and they grow into beautiful little plants with pretty little flowers. Now, if you want your bulbs to grow really big, keep your foliage cut back, and it'll take all of its energy and put it back into producing a bigger bulb. One of my favorite things to do is to cut the top quarter off of an onion and plant it. The reason I cut the tops off is because one onion planted like this will now produce multiple onions, increasing my bounty. So the next time you go to the grocery store, think about your garden as well as your dinner table. Whether you live in a house, a condominium, or an apartment, there's always a little bit of space to get your green thumb going. <laughs> <laughs>